Dominic Ritzo, the Chef Ambassador for Lindemans, and I've got here the amazing fine wine uh, Lindemans Ambassador, uh, Simon Camp. Welcome. Thank you very, very much. Wonderful You're, day to be here. Isn't it? Isn't it? Here in the Lindemans Open Garden. Um, Simon, look, we're going to be cooking up a fantastic chicken dish today. I've got a Moroccan, spiced Moroccan chicken with a, um, a beautiful uh, preserved lemon and herb salad. Sounds fantastic. So let's get started. Yeah. Okay. So I've got a little bit of uh, dried oregano. Yeah. A little bit of dried oregano, a little bit of cumin. So these, um, this particular dish isn't as spicy, hot spicy as what it is fragrant. So right. we've got the cumin, we've got a little bit of uh, dried coriander. Yep. We've also got some sumac. Are you familiar with sumac? A little bit, but not completely. Tell me about okay, it. Okay, so sumac is a beautiful, uh, it's like a, it's a, made from a berry. Okay. And it comes in a gorgeous hue, purple hue colour. And it's got a lemony, very, quite a citrus And it's from that North Africa part of the world? Very much from that North African part of the world. Right. Um, and ideal for chicken, fish, you can use it yeah. to crust. Well, those citrusy flavours, especially with lighter sort of wines that exactly. have worked very well. Exactly. Yeah, it lends okay. itself really well. A little bit of paprika, which is a really gorgeous, gorgeous and in colour. And that is a heavily smoked paprika or...? Just your standard, just your sweet, sweet, your sweet paprika. paprika. Yep. Um, couple of, one clove of garlic and some gorgeous fresh herbs. So we've got some uh, basil, mint, oregano and parsley. That's and all those in. fresh flavours and citrusy are going to work with those really light, Just refreshing Lindemann's Early Harvest wines. Exactly, exactly. Um, lemon zest, so again that citrus flavour coming in, keeping it really nice and light. And um, I love using lemon zest. It just, I find that it really li it livens up food. It gives it a real lift, and particularly in this dish. Now, people always go on about not going too deep because the white, getting the white pith, is the white is pith the bitter. bitter, is yes, it? Yes, right. yeah. All right, so we're going to just add in um, a really great squeeze of lemon juice as well. So, for me, when I'm matching food and wines, I'm trying to think about the, the flavours um, that are going to work and, and enhance each other. When you're putting something like that together, it's important that the spices complement each other as well? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Because you don't want you don't want to be adding in too many spices that mm. it becomes overpowering and you can't differentiate no the spice. That's right. right. So you want that nice, <coughs> really nice balance. Um, if you wanted to, if you loved a bit of heat, you could always add in a little bit of chili as well. Right. I'm not a big chili fan. Right. I love I love fragrant spices, but I don't like a lot of heat. <laughs> I also like to keep this a little bit chunky so you can see some of the herbs. Yep. So don't puree it too much. That's perfect for me. I've got myself a lovely, um, gorgeous chicken oh, breast skin on and um, with the little, um, the little bone intact, a little wing bone there. And this is purely for presentation. It's like but chicken in a basket from the 60s, chicken, chicken Maryland. <laughs> that's but it. a little bit fancier. But a little bit fancier, yeah. that's right. Um, and this always looks great for presentation can too. Can we smell that? Yeah. Let's smell. Oh, that's fantastic. Citrusy, yeah. perfect. Yeah. I can see that going really so well. So what are you with drinking? It. What have you Well, I'm drinking on? the Zabibo, which is um, from the Sweet Seasons range. Um, it's got a bit of uh, sweetness to it, sort of grapey and freshness. And like with spicy dishes, not that sort of more that fragrant spicy, it'll work with a myriad of wines. Um, but the little bit of sweetness in this will, will actually work quite well with the spices. It'll just cut through it. Um, and it'll also work with the flavour of the white meat there of the... Uh, um, the, the chicken, chicken and complement that really complement nicely. Complement also with the, the coriander. I think the, the coriander, that spike will work, sort of almost counteracts yeah. each other. Yeah. When you're matching food and wine, what you don't want to do is, is have, say, if you've got a really, the classic mistake that people always make, for example, with dessert, is they've got really sweet dessert and they put really sweet wine with it. Mm, and it's just overpowering. Exactly. Too, too so you want sweet. something, so actually the, 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 the citrusy and spiciness in that with a bit of sweetness in that actually sort of cancels each mm. other out and works wonderfully. All right, so what we want, I've got the temperature on about a medium yep. because with um, herbs and spices and the garlic, you don't want to have your heat up too high right. because you'll burn the spices, you get that bitterness. Right. So we want to try and avoid that. So just a little bit of colour. And just building a little bit of a crust up there. A little bit there. of a crust on there and then I'm going to pop it into the oven. I've got the oven on about 200, so really nice and high and finish this off about 15, 20 minutes and that's going to come out beautiful and juicy. Okay. All right, so I'm going to pop this in the oven. So, I will just double check the chicken and see how Next we're going steps. and yep. then um, we'll fire Get up this little salad. salad and yeah, then we're just about done. Oh, we need to start drinking some more wine. Oh, of course we do. So I'm going to put the pan, get this little pan on, put a little bit of olive oil. Okay, so the garlic and I've got some gorgeous preserved lemon. Now this preserved lemon has a wonderful, a wonderful flavour. Um, as I oh, said, this is just really... That's so fragrant. It's just like the chilli and the garlic is really coming through now. And actually, I'm just smelling that that rosé here in my hand. Just those little bit of fragrances, a little bit of spice, it's really... working perfectly with this yeah. rosé. 
Touch Making my mouth lemon. water. <laughs> Touch of lemon juice. Because this is a fundamentally adding to our dressing. I'm just going to throw in a little bit more of the olive oil. And then we've actually we've just taken it off the heat. So just to throw in a little bit of rocket so we get that peppery in now. First of all, with those aromatics of the chilli and the garlic and the preserve, preserved lemon, to fry yep. those off um, is going to release all those beautiful flavours from those three Fantastic. ingredients. Then we've got the herbs going in. And anything when you're using herbs, if you're going to warm them, they really release the beautiful oils, the essential oils in the herbs, which you get that lovely hit of flavour. And then just to throw the, uh, the spinach and the rocket in, just to wilt it slightly. Um, I kind of, I sort of quite like it a little bit warmed as a change yeah. just from a fresh salad. All right, so we've got a little bit of, um, I've just done a little bit of couscous. A little couscous. bit of couscous? Yeah. Look at that chicken. Okay, so there's our gorgeous little chicken breast. So we've got that Fantastic. nice little crispy on top. Look at the colour. Just that, she needs to just sit for a couple of seconds. I'll move my little processor out the way. Because colour is so important, isn't oh, it? Oh, again, you know, you're eating with your, you're eating with the eyes. Oh, that's just perfectly cooked, Simon. I can smell Look it. It looks that. fantastic. So I'll pop that down on the plate. Oh, there you go. I was going to get rid of that for you, but. Uh... Oh, that's good. And then I'm just going to top it with that. Um, this little one. Oh, that bit of spiciness salad. that's coming off that chicken and smelling that uh, early it's harvest really... shiraz just absolutely works perfectly together. And again, it's just you know about trusting yourself and being simple. This, you know. Again, as I said, no hard and fast rules. No, exactly. It's whatever you like to put with it. And that's the wonderful thing about the uh, early harvest and sweet seasons range. They're so versatile. But, you know, you do have um, your reds with the, with the more robust dish and you've got whites um, that then, go with more delicate well, dishes right. and everything in the, the middle. White. Lovely job. Thank you very much. It's been a well, as they say, a meal without uh, wine is not a meal. No, exactly. Cheers. Cheers. Bon appetit. Yeah. <laughs>